Over a century ago, the coastal prairies of Texas and Louisiana were home to almost a million Atwater's prairie chickens. But as habitat turned to farmland and Houston and other cities grew, the coastal prairie shrank. Now less than 1% of pristine coastal prairie is left, and this refuge is one of the Atwater's last strongholds. It's been teetering right on the, the brink of extinction. Over the last uh, 15, 20 years, there have been fewer than, than 100 individuals in wild, wild populations, and for a species that only lives on average of two years, that's a very bad place to be. You know, they're endangered species all over the rest of the country and the world, but this one here lives only in Texas, and it's part of the natural heritage of, of Texans. <laughs> to help the moms and these newly hatched chicks that are just two weeks old, go ahead and clean the pans. The hen and chicks stay in a protective brood box, an enclosed refuge with an all-you-can-eat buffet of veggies and bugs. And there are grasshoppers, katydids, beetles, but mainly grasshoppers. Um, those make really good chick food. Okay, it's time for them to, to take off on their own now. They've had their two weeks of head starting and they're looking pretty good. Yep. It's fun to see every couple days they change and they get noticeably bigger, their feathers get more um, obvious and colorful, they've gained weight, they're looking healthy. Hopefully they'll have what it takes to survive.